الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد so guidance which we're all in need of is of two types there's the general guidance al hidayat al amma the general guidance and this guidance here is guidance that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives to the general people to everyone you know and to the messengers and all of humanity Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives this guidance to them and this is the guidance in which the prophets were blessed with to be able to give guidance to their people to be a source of guidance as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran about the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa innaka latahdi ila suratin mustaqim and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the almighty says to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that verily you are guiding or a source of guidance to the straight path and so this gives us the general guidance in which people they have a choice in whether to follow the guidance that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given them and this is for all of humanity the more specific guidance or the uh hidayat tawfiq this is guidance in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given the person success to be guided so many people may hear the message but they do not accept it and this hidayat tawfiq is illustrated in the ayat in the in the verse of the Quran in which the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was being uh told by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he doesn't have a choice in the matter he can try to guide someone but the success is from Allah this tawfiq that we're talking about so this is the specific guidance because the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam tried his best to guide his uncle Abdul Muttalib when he was on his deathbed he wanted him to leave the deen leave the religion of the pagan arabs and come to islam at least die in a in a state of islam as a muslim wala yumtunna illa wa antum muslimun do not die except in a state of being a muslim and being a believer this type of guidance is only from tawfiq from allah because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he was trying to guide his uncle on his deathbed he said innaka la tahdi man ahbabta he said verily you do not guide whom you love meaning who who you wish to guide the people that you want to be guided you don't have a choice in the matter all you can do is try you make the effort and the tawfiq the success that blessing is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that's the second type of guidance that we're talking about and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us and guide our families and guide our communities and protect us from every kind of evil and harm and guide those people who have gone astray those people who are deviant in their beliefs those people who hold extremist ideologies and beliefs and those people who even uh, attack islam and hate islam and hate muslims may allah guide them to the haq or at least protect us from their harm and return their harm back to them and i ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us of our sins wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad